Okay, so today I'm going to be making soft pretzels. It's about my fifth time. I am trying to perfect this recipe for you, so I hope all goes well. I have everything measured out already to make the video a little bit shorter as well. So it says to add your water and brown sugar. So first I have two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. Yeast comes either in a packet like this or in a jar like this. It could also come in a, even a bigger container if you were to go to like Costco or BJ. So you're gonna measure two and a quarter teaspoon. It calls for a tablespoon of brown sugar. The sugar is what's gonna activate and feed the yeast so it um, uh, activates, all right? We have our salt, which is for, for flavor, as well as some butter that adds some fat. And I have two cups of all-purpose flour that has been lightly spooned and leveled off. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're going to be getting our water and our brown sugar in the electric mixing bowl, and we're gonna mix that together. So I'm going to put my brown sugar in, I'm gonna put it in my bowl, I'm gonna crumble it up, What's gonna happen is we need to make sure that our yeast gets activated. So we're gonna take the temperature 105 to 115. So if it's not hot enough, it won't activate the yeast to allow it to rise. And if it's too hot, it's going to kill it as well. So I'm gonna have my water and my brown sugar first. I'm gonna take the temperature. I have the water going over here. I'm gonna measure one and a half cups. Make sure, wow. One and a half cups, just like that. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy glasses here. I'm gonna end up stirring my water with the electric mixing bowl and the paddle attachment until it's combined. And then I'm gonna add my yeast and let it combine for about 10 to 20 seconds. So give your thermometer some time for that blue, I don't know what it's called, that blue line going up the middle. I guess that's maybe something I should know the name of it. I thought it started with an M. I can be wrong. The mercury? Is it the mercury? I don't know. I'm not doing this video again, so you can tell me I'm right, you can tell me I'm wrong. So every line is five degrees. So five, 10, water running before the video uh, to make sure it was going to be hot so I'm going to add my water in quickly just just to my brown sugar right now I'm going to mix it till it's combined which will probably take about 10 seconds I'm then going to turn my machine off add my yeast in for about 20 seconds and then you have to let it rest and you're going to see that it foams so you have to make sure it rests and you get this foamy topping on the top, I'm going to grab my yeast, I'm going to lock it, I'm going to stir it again, about 20 seconds, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stop it. I'm gonna put my timer on for five minutes. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to form a foam on top. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like before. So let me get to the camera. So there it is, it just looks like some dirty water, but then there's gonna get a foam that forms on the top. Before I turn the video off, I just wanted you to see that it did call for four cups of flour. You're gonna not put all four cups on one piece. So do two cups on a big enough piece, two cups on another piece.
piece, okay? Because it's gonna be hard. I did this in another video. I put four cups of flour on one big piece of wax paper and then it was hard to get it um, all together. So I'm gonna give it the five minutes and then show you what it should look like and continue with the video. Okay, so my foam, let's see. There's a little foam on the top after five minutes. That's what you want. So let me bring it back over continue with my directions. I'm going to keep my bowl away from the mixer because then it says to add the flour, the salt, and the softened butter. So I'm going to take two cups, add my flour. I'm going to grab again. Be careful doing this. Add four cups of flour. You're gonna need a little bit of flour at the end as well. I'm gonna go with my salt, one tablespoon. We never use a full tablespoon of salt, but for this recipe, we do. All right, you're gonna put it under here. And it says to stir, watch all that flour, for about one minute. So that's gonna to stir together. That butter is gonna get all combined. And then I'm gonna make sure I have my flour again it's going to be a little tacky or a little sticky all right that's fine but we're going to add a little bit more flour and then we're going to go with the dough hook so it says add the flour mix until the dough forms my dough is forming it's going to tell me to take the dough out of the electric mixer it may be a little sticky and coat the outside with some flour if needed i'm also going to be cleaning the bowl, but just with a paper towel. I have about 20 seconds. When you do use the dough hook, it sticks a little bit to the bottom of the side. So again, we're gonna coat a little bit of the electric mixer. And I actually may not even need the paper towel because I don't have a lot of flour on the uh, sides of it right now. Two, one, pack. Turn it off, unlock it. So you see my dough? Kind of push it through or peel it off. It's just a little sticky, not sticking to my hand though. I'm going to try to take that all off. I'm going to take my paddle attachment off. Take the dough out of the electric mixer. It's a little sticky or tacky. Just going to add a little bit of flour to the outside. Even on your surface, you can roll it around. And actually, you can take a paper towel. I don't really need it. I'm gonna bring that to the garbage now. Then I'm gonna take some flour, put it on the bottom and all around. And then I'm gonna pop this back in. And this is where you're gonna use your dough hook. And you have to knead the dough with the dough hook for five minutes. So again, you're gonna use your timer. I gotta get my timer going because I have a class coming up. So just put it on like number two or number four. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna actually go to number two. It's gonna be enough. And I'm gonna put my timer on for five minutes. And what it's doing is it's wrapping around that dough hook. So while that works, I'm gonna rinse off my hands quickly. And then I'm gonna prepare my bag. So it's very important that you do prepare your bag. And we're gonna put some cooking spray in that bag. So I'm gonna prepare the bag while that's going. People in your lab will be cleaning up. Just wash cleaning the dishes and stuff because the dough is really sticky. You may wanna start with cold water because if you start with hot, it tends to start melting it. Watch the go, the, the go, the dough going down uh, the sink as well. And we're gonna zip our bag up for it to rise. So it needs to rise for about one hour or until it doubles in bulk. So it's just wrapping around. Nothing is actually sticking to the bottom or the sides of my bowl because I did put that flour on it looking really good all right so i'm going to stop the video and after the five minutes because i still got four minutes and i'm sure you don't want to listen to me for four minutes i'm going to turn the video off and show you what to do when it's done here my time
timer just went off. My dough just needed for five minutes. And then it says to peel the dough from the dough hook. So I'm just taking the dough from the dough hook. Take the dough hook off. It's a little sticky, tacky. It's nice and smooth dough. So I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit. Again, just put a little bit of flour on the outside. Oh, it feels great. <laughs> this is better work. All right, there you go. Smooth out. I'm gonna, I have my sprayed bag. I'm gonna put it in my bag. I'm gonna leave it open to give it some, uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. You can actually close it. It should be covered because then it can dry out. We're gonna seal it and then we're gonna let it rise for about an hour and then I'm gonna punch it down, okay? So it has to rise for about an hour or until it doubles in bulk. And you will make sure that you have your bag labeled with your period number and your lab number, all right? So that's day one pizza dough with Mrs. Sour. Hopefully for the last time in the last day one video. Day two of our soft pretzels. So here is the dough in the bag. Just making sure my video is going. Um, I'm gonna take the dough out of your bag. We're not gonna need flour, I don't think, okay? What I think you should do is cut it in half or tear it in half. And you're gonna get about eight pretzels, okay? If you're a group of five, so that means two for each, if you're a group of four, if you're a group of five, okay, what you can do is cut each half into five. They just be a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna cut each half into half, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. That half into half, and then everybody is going to roll their own pretzel shape, and there will be pictures for that as well. So this is gonna take us three days because we are gonna do the baking soda bath. And I do have water on my um, stove top heating up for it to come to a boil. So I'm gonna take each in my hand, I'm probably not gonna show you all this on the video, okay? And you take and you just kind of spread it out as you go. So you're going from the middle and then going out and it may shrink a little bit because it just needs to warm up a little bit, okay? So I just took it out of the fridge. It's 7.53 in the morning at school and I'm trying to get this video done before I start my day. And you're gonna roll it out about 10 to 12 inches and try to get it even. So you see how it's shrinking? I'm just gonna go back to it in a moment. So I'm gonna just put that one to the side because again, as it warms up, it's easier to roll. But sometimes if it's too warm, it gets sticky. So I am going through with this recipe, but it's gonna take us three days. But trust me, it is well worth it. You saw that one was a little bit easier for me to roll. Take it, pan it out as you go. Again, I make it look semi-easy. <laughs> this is probably the fifth time I've made these pretzels. Like I said, I was trying to perfect uh, the recipe and I believe I've perfected it and I realized after the baking soda bath, we can, that's too thin there, we can refrigerate it up to 24 hours. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, I'm gonna go with one more. And I may not even be baking all these right now um, or doing the uh, bath right now. It's really just to show you. So pan it out. So you're, you should get two each, okay? So again, if you're a group of five, you're gonna make each half into five pieces, okay, after you tear it apart. And then if you're a group of four, you're gonna do four pieces, okay? So I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna roll the rest out so you don't have to continue to watch me do this. My water's continuing to boil. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay, 
Okay, so my water is boiling and I started to make my shapes of my pretzels. Okay, so you're gonna make it as nice and long. Okay, I went out. And then basically what you do, you take them, I go like this, I take and twist it, and then I bring it down. Okay, and then I fix it when I go over to my baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Okay, I'm gonna go one more because again, it's a time thing. The bell's gonna be ringing soon. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I wasn't gonna be honest with you, but this is dough from three different times <laughs> that I made it, okay? I'm not redoing that part of the video. So some of the dough rolled out really good and some of it didn't. Yours is gonna be fine because yours is gonna be a little bit fresher. I take it, again, I twist it, Okay, and then I'm just fixing it. So my water is boiling. We're gonna go about one minute. I'm gonna put these in at the same time. You're gonna be very careful with this. You're then gonna carefully take your pretzel, put it on the spoon, and then pop it in the water. I'm gonna do the same thing to each of them. Carefully grab it. Don't want to go longer than a minute because then you may get the flavor of the baking soda. And I'm just trying to make sure they pop up to the top. So I have a timer set. I'm just going to do those three and I'm going to do these in a moment. So what's going to happen is they're going to come out. We're going to have a cooling rack because we want the water uh, to come off of it before we then refrigerate it day two, right? So I have my timer on, 30 seconds. And really this baking soda bath, it just gives it that a little bit more golden color and it just gives it that texture on the outside that makes them so much better than um, a pretzel I used to make in the past. All right, so they're up on top, they're boiling. Be very, very careful with, this, with, with the water. I'll have the water on, I'll have the baking soda in there, and just make sure you're very, very careful. So my minute is up, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna grab them, take as much water out. Again. It's not about what they look like. It's your first time making these, okay? It's gonna be about what they taste like, right? We're gonna let the water come off of them as long as we can, but because this is a video and I have students coming in very soon, all right, what we're gonna, is I'm gonna continue, right? These then are going to go on to a lined piece of parchment paper. I'm just gonna take these in my hand I'm gonna soak it up a little bit. You may not have to do this step because you're gonna have some time, right? I'm actually just gonna take it. It's just, it's warm right now. I'm just gonna lift them all up, okay? We're gonna wrap them tightly and then day three, you're gonna come in and we're gonna put an egg wash on that gives it a little bit of browning, either um, salt or cinnamon and sugar. And then we bake them for about 15 uh, to 20 minutes. So that is day two of your pretzels. Day three's coming up. Best part, the eating day. Here we are, day three of pretzels. Finally, the day to taste. I have some egg wash, I have my pastry brush, and then here are my pretzels that I've already done the uh, baking soda bath. So you're gonna take your pastry brush. First, you're gonna uh, beat the egg in the custard bowl. I may have it in a different kind of bowl. I'm not sure, I'm gonna probably change things as I always do. The egg wash is gonna help give it a little brown flavor, um, brown coloring as well, just like that baking soda. So I'm gonna make sure I lightly brush and coat 
the whole pretzel. When you're here, you can either put salt on yours or you can do a cinnamon sugar mix. Okay, so that's gonna be up to you. I also think when they do go in the, the baking soda bath and when you place them on here, you may be writing your names on the parchment paper so you know whose, are, whose is whose, okay? Maybe we will boil them one at a time. We should have time because we are doing it as a three-day lab. But trust me, it's going to be well worth it in the end and what they taste like from what I hear, because I haven't been tasting them. I've just been making the dough five or six times. Okay, nice, make sure you get the egg wash all over. You don't want too much, you don't want too little. I'm gonna then, I'm just gonna sprinkle with salt. I'm a salt girl, not cinnamon and sugar. So I have salt, some kosher, coarse salt. don't want too little and you don't want too much. I could have just said that, but you know me. Always making mistakes. Not mistakes with this recipe though. I hope you guys enjoy these pretzels and they come out the same way for you as they've been coming out for me. I've been going into some teachers, having them taste test the different kinds. Maybe you've been in the classroom while I've been walking in and trying to get one, but I wanted the teacher's opinion because they're always wondering, what are you guys making in there? What does that smell? So I think it's my job as their colleague to maybe feed them once in a while. All right, that's it. It's gonna go in the oven anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So again, that's why it's a three-day recipe because they do take some time to um, bake. So that's them going in, and then you're gonna see what they look like when they come out. All right, 20 minutes, 450 degrees. I'm going to go 15 and then check it from there. All right, pretzels are going to be coming out of the oven. Day three, the end. I have some melted butter that I'm gonna brush on the hot pretzels and then I'm gonna put on a plate and I'm gonna walk around the building and see who is gonna be able to taste one of these, All right? So I have, it actually took me 20 minutes to get a little bit more of a golden color. So you're probably going to be doing um, the same. So my timer's going off. Making my pretzels out, okay going to put them right on your counter. You're going to be careful. You may need that oven mitt. And I'm just going to lightly kind of tap because I don't want to take the salt off the pretzels either. Oh, they smell so good. Some of them did, you know, rise and puff up. I did have, I was in a little bit of a rush making the shape of the pretzels today. So hoping yours, you're going to have more time to form the shapes than I did. At this point, I am a pro. These don't look like I'm a pro <laughs> because I was rushed for time, um, but I have become quite a pro at making these. So then, then some very lucky teachers around here too. All right, you can then, I'm going to take a pair of tongs. I'll have them available to you as well our parchment paper. This one looks like the best one. So they're all gonna taste. A little sticky, but we're not gonna uh, we're not going to um, put anything on the parchment paper. Uh-oh, it's a hot pan, Mrs. Sour. Practice what you preach. Right, and that is the end of soft pretzels. I am so glad that I perfected it and I hopefully will not have to do another video. Let's see if I could put all the different days together and that it's short enough too. So I'm gonna stop talking 
That is soft pretzels. I'm gonna bring these right up to the camera. I wish I had some smell of vision if you could see. Oh my gosh, you don't wanna see me, but look at those beautiful looking pretzels. Yay, Mrs. Sour, give her a round of applause. I hope you guys enjoy these.